Well, hello everybody. Good to see y'all. Glad to be here. Got a 355T. Yeah, 355T CS. 355T Echo here. Oh boy. Belongs to a fella. I believe his name on the channel is Simple Man. I think that's right. Hey, buddy, I'm sorry, because I have a hard time remembering names sometimes. But I've uh, been in here cleaning up this morning. Uh, got a bunch of mess back here out of the way. I've still got a good bit more, but for the most part, it's just got a bunch. Just getting that stuff out of the way. Now if I can find everything I need to use this. I got a piece of metal stuck up on there already. <laughs> I have made a, a large dent in the junk behind me. I spent several hours out here this morning trying to get some of this stuff cleaned up. But there's just so much junk everywhere. Couldn't hardly move around. Couldn't hardly move my chair. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. Just get so busy. Get busy doing a bunch of stuff. And, and don't take care of the stuff that needs to be took care of. That's all right there. We got it took care of. The majority of it anyway. The majority of it anyway. Excuse me. So I figured I'd got that video made. Or whatever the hell I'm saying. I got the cleaning done, so I figured I'd try and get a video made. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, mercy. That's right. I'm trying to. I got a little bit of junk here on this thing. I hate to blow it off the floor because I just got done cleaning the floor. <laughs> I'll go ahead and mark this muffler where I want the, the port to come out. get done with it. I'll try to keep these screws back in this cover because sometimes it's hard to figure out where they came from on some of these little ones. Well, that ain't worked out. Stupid. Let's see if I can Sometimes All right. All right. I ain't put my glasses on this morning. I may have to. Here we go. We're going to get some of this stuff out of the way. I already know the majority of this stuff has to come. Well, everything has to come off. Who are we trying to keep? <laughs> I don't think you can leave anything on this rascal. Looks like every piece of 
piece of pieces down here in the box, put the screws over here in this box. And if I ain't mistaken, y'all remember last one of these we did, last two of them we did, they have bushings underneath the coil, and they do. There's plastic bushings underneath the coil, so you gotta be mindful of that whenever you uh, pull it down. If you lose them little brass or uh, the little plastic bushings if you lose them your uh, coil won't be in the right place when you put it back on there because it folds it up or it, it goes in farther rather it, it, the bushings hold the coil up them little caps have grease on them they stick to the fan. Put grease on them originally. Let's see. Come on up there. Hope that thing will stay on. Get a zip tie and put around that so it don't go flying. I don't like it when stuff goes flying. I didn't check to see how much gas in there. shouldn't be done in it because they sent it in the mail. So. Oh, mercy. Muffler, the muffler, which will be a pipe later. Ha, never mind on that. You gotta pull that handle off there to get to that last screw. You kinda put it on there where you can't really get to it. This thing here, getting this carburetor off isn't the hardest but it also isn't always the easiest there we go a little bit of gas left in the line of course we're still spraying it y'all know that does it every time I forget about it every time. Keep up one of these days, I'd remember that. Odds are I probably won't. Alright. Y'all know, spring goes in the intake. Now I'm going to show y'all this one again. Because this is really important on these. If you tear down a 355T. I doubt I can show y'all this, but try right in here there is a tiny and I mean it's real tiny it's not very big at all y'all see where it is though I'll show it to you when I get it out that little piece right there sticks in the intake boot and it's tiny see that's on the end of my pick it's a little bitty you gotta watch for that thing but if you lose it pulse tube doesn't pulse right 
And I haven't lost one yet. And I probably shouldn't have said that. But I haven't forgot about it since I found the first one. Usually what I like to do is when I take it out, I'm going to stick it in a piece of fuel line like that and I'm going to drop it in the screw bucket. That way, it's in the screw bucket and not just randomly running around everywhere. So, uh, y'all keep an eye out for that if you're doing one of these. I just dropped a piece of something. Something stuck to my needle nose pliers. It's probably just a little piece. It sounded like a piece of drill bit that was laying up there on the table. I had a broken drill bit laying up here earlier. They grease these screws when they put these things together. That right there is always a Phillips for whatever reason. All of them are straight except for that one. And it's a Phillips. But they grease these. Yeah, they grease them when they put them together. See the grease? So you gotta watch them things because you go to throw it in the bucket and it'll stick to your finger. <laughs> Let go of it, you'll go to pull your hand back and you'll wind up flinging it across the room if you're not careful. <laughs> I've done that a couple times. Oh, mercy. That much grease is on that bike. This rubber in here. I would turn the light on, but if I turn the light on, I don't think y'all can see it. I don't think you can anyway. That's what I forgot about that. That's why that piece won't come off of there. It's got the, the screw cap for spark plug. There. Now we're in there. Now that should come off there. Yeah. It was something like that, but I couldn't remember what. It's been a couple of months since I tore one of these down. <laughs> and for some reason, that last one acts like it's still stuck on there. I know the intake's got to come out. I had to push the intake out before I pushed the other one out. Here. Oh, that's what it was. I'm gonna say now I know there's a trick to this, but I can't I ain't got my mind on it right now. I thought like there would be an easier way to get that off. There does not seem to be. The little pulse tube is kind of a pickle to put back in there whenever you uh, put the saw back together. 
it's, it's not impossible it's just kind of kind of picky so uh, I like to uh, see if I can get everything out the easiest way but it ain't looking like there's gonna be no easy way for that one See if we can get everything pulled loose, get the motor out of it, and then we'll get porting on it. We might be able to make it. Might be able to make it. Sometimes spark plugs are tight, y'all. Sometimes they're tight. get it all pulled down them I'll take it out there clean it up outside that way I don't get such a mess in here just try to stick it back on there like that because it will hold itself up there I believe fingers to cooperate. And that big um pulse tube is such a pain in the butt. You gotta feed it down through there the whole time you're uh, pulling it up and down through there. Got to push it and pull it through there. All right. And here we go. All right, we got the motor out of it. So uh, next we'll be tearing it down and getting started on some grinding. So uh, I'll try to bring y'all back for a little bit of that. And we'll see if we can get this thing knocked out. Y'all have a good day. Y'all hop around.